Now, when it came into effect in April 2022, the African Union Transition Mission in Somalia had a clear mandate of fully implementing the Somali Transition Plan by December 2024. How is the progress six months into the assignment after ATMIS took over from Africa Mission in Somalia? Amisom? Yusuf Farah was in Somalia and filed a comprehensive report. Here now is a first in a three-part series, ATMIS, The Final Push. The African Union Transition Mission in Somalia came into operations on the 1st of April 2022 after its authorization by the African Union and mandated by the United Nations Security Council, AU Peace and Security Council Resolution 2068 of 2022. The mandate of ATMIS is to fully implement the Somali Transition Plan. The multi-dimensional mission involves the military, police and civilian component in its mandate overview which is to support the capacity building of the integrated Somali security and police forces, reduce the threat posed by Al-Shabaab, support peace and reconciliation efforts in Somalia and conduct the phased handover of security responsibilities to Somalia. All this is done with the Somali forces taking the lead role. For the success of this mission that is supposed to run until December 2024 when the final exit is expected to occur by ATMIS forces, five countries namely Kenya, Uganda, Ethiopia, Djibouti and Burundi have jointly contributed 18,586 troops to ATMIS for defensive and offensive mechanisms. These efforts are complemented by police contributing countries Kenya, Ghana, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Uganda and Zambia who also provide mentorship to the Somali police forces as well as helping in capacity building. The police unit has a force strength of 1,040. In our first day in Mogadishu, Somalia, we meet with the forces commandant Lieutenant General Diomed Ndekeya. He says since its deployment, ATMIS has embraced tactics that will ensure the successful implementation of the transition plan. Our effort is on holding the terrain uh, by collocation of our FOB with Somali forces. We don't leave any forward operating biases when we don't see that Somalis are not are able to handle it defensively. And all this is also being supported by the local uh, forces and the support of the local population. So this is a game changer in, <clears throat> in Somalia if it is replicated in all sectors. We will not, not have Al-Shabaab probably by the end of 2023. On the police side, we link up with contingent commander of the Kenya police in the mission, Alex Munyao, who says their mentorship coupled with the civilian and military collaboration is slowly steering the Somali police forces in the right direction. We look at uh, discipline and we look at accountability. Um, we, we want the Somali police to reach a point where they can manage the internal security of this country independently. ATMIS and military, police and civilian components are authorized to conduct several tasks. Among them, conduct joint simultaneous targeted offensive operations across all its six sectors in coordination with the Somali security forces to degrade the Al-Shabaab and affiliates linked to ISIL. Configure ATMIS in terms of composition, structure, disposition and equipment to best hand over security responsibility of Somali security forces, support Somali security forces in clearing main supply routes, including recovered from Al-Shabaab, provide combat mentorship to the Somali National Army, enhance Somali National Army capacity to conduct civil military coordination activities and ensure compliance with the rules and engagement of international humanitarian law, international human rights and all international best practices. The expected timeline of ATMIS assignment which commenced on the 1st of April 2022 is two years and eight months. This was arrived at following the assessment by the Security Council on its four phases guided transition. The phases begin with the reconfiguration stage followed by jointly shaping and clearing operations and handing over of forward operating bases. This is then followed by phase three which is operations and handing over of the forward operating bases and finally liquidation and withdrawal of ATMIS. 
Apart from the troops and police forces, ATMIS also boasts of 70 civilian staff, expected to increase to 85 from 1st of January 2023. The first drawdown of 2,000 security forces is expected on the 31st of December 2022. Yusufa reporting for Easy Friday from Mogadishu.